I'm interested in better futures. And what I mean by better futures are futures that involve human beings. Um, is talk a bit about how we got to where we are. And then talk about where we might go. And where we might go, if you think of the future as a journey of exploration, back in the day when we started exploring the world, um, we did that better, more efficiently, when people learned to draw maps. So it's kind of an interesting game where you learn from nature, then you take ownership of nature, and then you do better than nature. Whereas the Greeks, you know, were very modern. They just kind of said, okay, regular columns, let's deal with the appearance of straight lines, let's not only create control, but show that we are controlled. So maps, um, I'm going to ask you to draw some maps. And I'm going to ask you to draw maps which are about an ideal future. And it can be an ideal future for you. It can be an ideal future for the stuff you design. But it needs to be a new future, not more of the same. Because if you take this approach, we all know that Mercator's projection is a total fiction. You know, we know now, post um, the first journeys to the moon, that you know the living planet is this amazing sphere floating around in space and whatever, whatever. But you don't really see grid lines when you look at the planet, and you. If you did, they wouldn't be absolutely ordered and symmetrical. So why would you bother to do that? Would you bother because you could work out distances? You'd bother because you know initially you could sail boats around more efficiently, you could explore, you could build railways, roads, you could then get into aircraft and all of that sort of stuff. But what it does is to insist on a world that is flat, ordered, and controllable. So if they were drawing maps of the future, it would be unlikely to be that rigid, it would be unlikely to be that ordered, and most of all, it would be unlikely to be that predictable. Because the big danger that I want to try and communicate to you today is the danger of predictability. Because once you feel you know the world, you keep making the same world over and over again. So it's kind of, how do you step off that world that you know into a future world? 